Hello and welcome back, I'm Lincoln and today we're going to go into Nomad Sculpt and I'm going to show you the differences between a lit PBR scene and a matte cap scene. Now if you guys have never used these before and don't know the differences, that's what this video is about. I had a question in a previous video about how I made the clay look so lifelike. So this is going to show you how to do that and we're going to have some fun doing this. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so with this, I have just a default sphere. I'm not going to change anything. There's no need to. We are going to do something a little bit different with shapes in just a second to show you a trick you can use with matte caps for different colors. But as far as this, we're going to start out with this. Okay, so we'll go up to the Shadings tab. You've got Lit PBR, which is Lit and Physical Base Rendering. That's what the PBR stands for. And then matte cap is short for Material Capture. Now the difference is Lit you can come in, you can paint any color you want, you can put lights in, you can move lights around. And there are some changes to matte cap where you can do that too, but as far as this, this is a normal thing where you can do several lights and do a lot more with your object. With matte cap, you're using a material capture and you're just changing to different kinds of materials. So at the top, with you see the little nomad nomad icon that's all the ones that come with nomad and the ones below and the file are all the ones that i've made i've made one that was like the moon so now you see you have kind of a moon object and you can see as i'm rotating this in space with the matte cap it moves the sphere and you know this default sphere is not round so it has kind of a shape to it so you can see that the material capture doesn't move the object moves but the material capture stays and that's just that's the difference where if it was a painted object you know you can move it all the way around if it had paint on it now the next difference if you change the color of this object it's going to affect the material capture so say let's paint this and change the roughness so if we go a little bit rougher or let's say we'll go shiny on this instead add some metalness and we'll change the color to this and paint all now of course this is what your object would be but if you move over to matte cap now you'll see that the underlying color affects the material capture and that's just nature of the beast if you have paint on the object and physical based rendering it's going to affect your material capture when you change it over. So if you don't, if you want the object to be the color that you had for your material capture originally, you need to come back over here, change this back to white, remove the roughness and metalness, hit paint all, and now you're back to the material capture you had originally. Okay, so let's say we're going to go to something else. I'll show you another example of something different. This is one that I have that makes it kind of look like a glass with a reflection through. And you can see you have a glassy structure on the top, the world square dimples, and then underneath you have this light. Now, we have not sculpted this at all. This just makes it look like it's been sculpted. And this is a different example of how to use material captures to create different objects now, just understand, you know, that this doesn't actually sculpt the object because if we go to lit, it's a smooth surface. So, more differences between these two things. Now, normally in lit PBR, you are using paint and different colors. So, if we come over and paint this, I can, whoops, let's change this to a different color, obviously. And I can paint this to different colors, whatever we want to do, right? And then I can sculpt a little bit. Let's change that a little bit smaller so it's not quite so drastic. Okay, change this a little bit, whatever we want to do, right? Now, this object has changed, but if we go to material capture, that object will still be sculpted underneath, but it's going to look like it has this other surface texture on top of it. So it can get a little confusing, and you just have to remember where you're going with this. Okay, now, normally lit PBR, you're changing colors, you're changing objects, whatever you want to do, right? And that's what it is. It's like physically rendered for you. Now with material capture, there's something a little different in here and it's to use a global matte cap. You know, it's obviously gonna have this matte cap because you have this on here. But say we leave that checked, 
we add another object in the space, say a cylinder. You can see it already has the material capture on it. We're gonna grab the Gibzo and just, just kind of put this up on a post right here. Okay, say I want this different from here. Now normally a mat cap you can't change or you couldn't change before, but now that you have this little checkbox, we can change this and now I can go in and pick a different one. So say I want, you know, the moon texture on here. Now this has changed. Before that was a little bit different thing. Um, the other main thing that's been changed in here now is the rotation on your lights. You can actually change those now, where before you couldn't. So now that you have the global, now I can change the light and the direction. Um, it's only a rotation though. You can't rotate up and down. It's only just straight rotation around. But you can change that rotation. And if you want this to go back to where it was, just hit the reset button on the little circle icon with an arrow, and you go back to the mat cap you had. So it's there are some differences in there, and I hope this kind of clears it up between how mat caps work and how a PBR lit normal scene works. Um, this is different ways you can do, and then you look at the other shading tabs. You know, if you go unlit, it's just going to make things white for you. And object ID, all that does is just change it to a different, basically almost like a face group, which you have in here as well. Instance ID, all these different things will do different things for you. But as far as color and sculptability, it's going to be between these two, lit and matte cap. Yeah, face groups, you can do face groups as well, as you can see those have different ones. And I've gone into that a little bit before where you can sculpt different face groups if you like. So the main thing I wanted to pull across here was how you change your materials to make them look a little more realistic if you want. Like I said, a lot of these up here at the top are kind of the larger ones, more known. You know, you can do different ones like here, like the Red Wax Police, which is nice because that changes it to a different one and I'm going to change that one to it too and you can see this one it's just a little bit different color wax if you want you know a little different wax and clay like structure so it's kind of nice you can sculpt a matte cap so you can really see the texture and that's the reason sculptors have always used the waxes and the clays because it brings out the texture really well harder to do when you're going more realistic with the color and texture that you'd actually have on a person or an object but you can sculpt a matte cap and flip back over to lit and you can do this as much as you want as long as you leave it in white you can always go back and forth so it's kind of a nice thing to do is sculpt a matte cap and then put it back in lit and rent basically render it how you want so i hope this kind of explains the differences between the two and some of the tricks and tips on how to use the two to your advantage. All right, if you guys are liking these videos, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. All right, thanks.